improve. Well, the important uh, thing is that this is an improving trend. Management. We're running more trains on time than we have been for a long time, and we're cancelling very few trains, which is what our passengers asked us to focus on last year. Now, most of the things that cause delays on the railway network are outside our control. If you look at the last month, for example, three of the top ten delays, unfortunately, were, were fatalities on the railway. Then you get things like signalling failures, problems with the overhead line supply. Now, these are things we can't control, but what we can do is work with Network Rail to help recover the service more quickly when things do go wrong, and that will be better for our passengers. We try and give as much information out to our passengers as we can. Now, that's not as good as it could be, so we're working on how to improve that. One of the things we've done is really pioneer social media and give an app to people so that they can not only get the latest information, but also claim their delay repay compensation with that app even before they get off the train if that's what they want to do. Our, our train crew position is the best it's been for years. We've, you know, we've really got on top of the, the supply of train drivers. That's why we're cancelling fewer trains. In fact, we're sort of industry leading in terms of the number of small number of trains that we're cancelling each month. So we're on top of that. The focus now is how do you cut the amount of delay minutes you get when you've got disruption. That's the big focus. A good example of how we've done that recently was the autumn timetable on the Cross City Line where we talked to Network Rail and said, we know where the problems lie, we know when they occur, let's work together to make sure we've got the equipment and the people in the right places at the right time so we can respond quickly and get the service back to normal when it has been disrupted.